For today's quiz, we have a chair sitting on four desks. The question is simply, if I were to remove one of these desks, would the chair stay upright? Here's what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold that up right now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your confidence. Typical student responses are, you need all four. Clearly, there's a reason why chairs have four legs and not three. Others will say, no, you could have three. Because even since Euclid, we knew that if you had three points, it makes a plane and they feel that uh, should be able to stay with three legs. But then they say, I don't know which leg to take off. In other words, if I cut off one of these legs, could you still use it as a chair? And that's really what we're after. So most students, they have a really hard time trying to figure out if it's possible, and if so, which leg could be unsupported. To help us explain what's going on here, put a piece of paper down so I can write on it. What we're trying to think about is the center of mass. If we can find the center of mass of an object, which is really thinking about if I could use one point in space to centralize all of the mass of an object, where would it be? Well, if uh, you might think it's directly in the middle, but we don't have perfect symmetry. Remember, I've got this backing plate in this metal, which means I've got more material on that side of the chair than this side of the chair. Uh, the base is gonna end up being, for a four-legged structure like this, let me put it on its side. Think of having a giant square going across the bases there. That's gonna be our, our base. And our center of mass, as long as it's within that base, won't topple over. I take one of these meter sticks and put this straight up and down. So our center of mass is probably gonna be somewhere about right here. I'll mark that right now. I can then take and just show what I mean by having a base. I'll simply put the meter sticks on each side, like so. And notice our center of mass falls within this base. But what happens if I were to take off one of these legs? Well, we would now end up having a triangle. Let me see if I can just take this right here and I'll move this down a little bit. I think you can see that we now have this triangle right here and our center of mass is still within that base. Therefore, it won't topple. Let's put it back and imagine if we took one of the back legs off. Well, in that case, I'm gonna end up having something that looks a little bit different. Just move this to the side this here, I'll put this here, and this one across. I'll get rid of this other one, and you can see that our center of mass falls outside of our support. So if I take that leg off, this is going to topple over. Let me clean all this up, and then we'll show you. All right, again, the center of mass is back here somewhere, and if I were to pull this front leg off, voila, it still supports, which means I can also take off this other back leg and it supports. Front leg. But if I try to take off one of these back legs, lo and behold, it falls. And of course, if I were to take off this other back leg, it's going to fall again. Kind of neat, simple idea of center of mass. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, 
you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.